All right, so that's from a development point of view, we'll move on to progressive overload, um, which is a principle of strength and conditioning. And essentially, progressive overload is advancing the exercise loads to improve your physical capacity over time. Um, so this comes into account when we're looking at your conditioning, your energy system development. Um, you may be, your main session of the week uh, in 2017 might have been 8K, um, and then in 2020, it's now 10K. Um, and that's because your game, um, you're, you're running in your game has progressed in that format, so your training has replicated that. Same in the gym. Um, you, at the start of a month, you might be going through a strength block with your um, barbell back squat, and you're doing three sets of eight at 60 kilos, um, and after a six-week block, you're doing three sets of eight, now 80 kilos. Your force velocity curve. So essentially an easy way to break this down. Um, if we're working on your strength, then you'll be lifting heavy weights, which means you'll be moving slow. So your velocity will be down, but your force will be high because you're generating, your muscle fibers are generating high amount of force. So like that Nordic test that I talked about, that's a um, maximal strength test um, and, and your muscles will recruit um, the maximum amount of newtons they can and that will get a high reading of you know, 400 newtons on the Nord board testing. But if we're doing a velocity test like, um, let's say a 20 metre sprint, that's a high speed activity. So the speed will be really high, the force will be down um, and you'll um, you'll be moving at a high um, meters per second. In terms of adaptation, so this is our last segment. The body improves while we're resting. Um, that's really, really important to understand. So when you train, you're demanding the body, um, you're working out, so you're expelling energy. Uh, but when you're resting, that's when your body um, is regenerating and, and adapting to improve from that stress, that demand you put on the body. And obviously, if you're living a, a um, elite lifestyle, then you're going to get the, the utmost benefits from that session. If you're living a poor lifestyle, then that might lead to you being overloaded because your body won't be able to handle that stress because you're stressing it with the way that you're sleeping, you're stressing it with your way that to um, cope with your life stresses um, and you're stressing it maybe with poor um, nutrition habits. So the way I, will, will ma I manage your loads is um, team builder, uh, all your repetitions and exercises that you tick off, um, it compiles reports for me. So I'm able to see your total repetitions that you're lifting over the week. Um, and then we can see your progressions per um, movement. So like those movements I was talking about with your back squat and your bench press and um, those single leg movements, we, we can see that over time, which is a good measure of your progress. Um, and then the screening variables, those subjective questionnaires that I get you to fill out on Mondays. Um, so your wellness ones, um, which zero is poor. So like for motivation, um, zero means you, you're not motivated at all. Um, you just feel like staying in bed all day. 10 means you're jumping out of your skin with heaps of energy and can't wait to train. We'll have some days in there that are focused on um, activation. And what we're meaning by this is just promoting blood flow. So we, we're in a recovery mode because you probably had a big session the day before or maybe the day before that. Um, so we're, it's all about focusing on that movement stability component, um, getting repetition in um, because we know the body responds well to movement. Um, and it also helps you develop to focus on stability on, the, on these days and, and quality technique because the the load is down, um, so it's a great day to really, really focus on um, good movement quality as well as you should feel better um, after these sessions. So it's all about feeling good throughout the session.